Bagus. got the uh, stock wheels and the BBS. Well, it's funny. These are actually stock wheels also, just not stock for this car, right? <laughs> Anyhow, I got the wheels all loaded up. I'm going to run to a tire shop because I'm actually just going to have these tires put onto these wheels because these tires are still like brand new. Well, I just got to the tire shop and um, yeah, I'm having them balance them as well. So they'll all be balanced and hopefully the car will ride nice. I probably should go and have an alignment done as well since we lowered the car and everything, you know what I mean? But I do want to get the wheels on and I want to check the, the actual stance to make sure. I don't know, I might try, I might try and get it to go a little bit lower, but we'll see. I don't know. These tires are kind of on the bigger side. Like I would rather put new tires if I could afford it right now, but I can't. If I could, I would run a, a much smaller or like lower profile tire and just kind of stretch them a little bit so we can really get some stance going on but it is what it is man i'm just excited to get those wheels on and have a little bit more poke so that they're like more flush you know what i'm saying check it out he put rags on the machine for me because i asked him not to mess up the lips finished up at the wheel shop on my way back to the house i don't know if you guys can see them back there Bro, I am so stoked to get these on the BMW. I don't know if I've ever been so excited for a set of wheels before, but I just, I know these wheels are gonna make the BMW just look so much cleaner. But I did go by the dollar store and I needed a new thing for putting dirty rags in. And I've seen many people comment about getting oven cleaner from the dollar store to try this on the engine. So I figured why not? I grabbed a few cans of this and let me tell you, they're not a dollar, man. They're like $4 a piece, but I figured we'd give that stuff a try, man. I wanna get these wheels put on the BMW and then maybe clean up that 5.3 today, finally, right? Hey, what the hell is this shit? You're parked in my way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't want to be matching shirts? Ah, uh, you have the same shirt on. Look, I, I had this scene all planned out. 
my Look, I had my I had my tripod sitting here, so whenever I got home, I could just put my camera right there and record back in the truck up. But no, you guys have to have my damn driveway all blocked. <laughs> I heard you wanted a race, single cab versus single cab. Uh. Everybody's been telling me to try oven cleaner, so I, I use hot sauce. I'm gonna give it a shot. You use hot sauce for clean engines? Yeah. What the hell's wrong with you? Tapatio hot sauce. I'm sure it does too. <laughs> Bro, wheels are on and I freaking love it. I'm gonna show it to you guys right now, but you guys already know. I, I want to take it to a parking lot so we can get out in the open to really get a good look at it. But I do need to get the kidneys back on. And yes, I, I do plan on ordering some new ones because these ones, the chrome is all flaking off. I mean, put in the comments what you think. Should I just do all black ones or just go ahead and just get another set that have the chrome since being we do have a polished lip, you know what I mean? But I also got to put these pieces on. I need to wipe them down really good. And put our under hood little matte thing on, which came out freaking amazing, dude. Nice and bright black. Bright black. Does that make sense? <laughs> nice and dark black. Yeah, it looks a lot better now it's all cleaned up. Don't look at the back because, yeah, I didn't really spray that. But who gives a shit, right? <laughs> but it's dry now and a lot lighter. Look, it's like a freaking kite, bro. <laughs> I'm going to get all this thrown on really quick. And then we'll go and do a little video edit. Without a gimbal. Alright guys, I want to tear into this damn 5.3 now, finally, and get it kind of torn apart a little bit. Um, we need to get the engine harness and everything off of it. Probably all the accessories as well. Yeah, I want to take the engine harness off. I want to get all the accessories off. Probably take this intake manifold off as well, because I'm not going to use that damn intake manifold. Take the exhaust manifolds off, get the transmission separated from the block. Basically, just get this thing all torn down, man. I want to get it all torn down to just the bare long block. Um, and then transmission so that we can clean them up maybe get the the engine up on an engine stand for now So we're able to actually work on it junior come back my friend come back 
<laughs> uh, Ginger kicks ass at this kind of shit. I'm kind of in. Eh. I'm procrastinating. What can I say? Alright, so I got this damn engine harness off, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, what? What is the deal with some of these freaking plugs? I mean, it was crazy enough just trying to figure out how to unplug the fuel injectors, in which I got that figured out. Uh, for the most part, the rest of the plugs on the engine itself are pretty basic. Some of them have like little locking tabs. You have to pull the locking tab to be able to like pull it off. But dude, I got back here to the transmission. This freaking plug right here and this one right here like dude at first i was like what kind of aircraft freaking alien ass shit is this but i got it figured out man damn near had to freaking look up on youtube how to just unplug those i think i might have broke that one a little bit but it's all right but yeah engine harness is off i also pulled the starter um because i mean we are going to be separating the transmission right now so i may as well plus there was a plug behind the damn starter so now what i'm going to work on is just getting all these accessories off the front i want to do that while i still have the engine on like hooked to the stand so i can support it you know what i mean so yeah that's the next goal it's just to get the alternator power steering in which i i think this is the same power steering that's on the suburban so i might be able to use this one on the suburban which would be a freaking plus but yeah i'm gonna pull the water pump off and then i think this is an ac yeah the ac bracket i'm gonna get that pulled off and these lines the cooler lines going to the transmission get all that crap out of the way All right, so got the wiring harness, all the accessories, the starter, and those cooler lines for the transmission. All that stuff is out of the way. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this put up before we start pressure washing. Partially clean up my mess before I make more of a mess. All right, now, a lot of you guys have told me to try an oven cleaner as far as to get rid of like all this really built up grime and stuff. Well, I've heard oven cleaner, I've heard diesel fuel, like dump diesel fuel all over it, like a few hours before you're gonna pressure wash it, and I guess it takes it all off. Um, I don't know, but I have, I decided I'm going to go ahead and try the oven cleaner before trying the diesel fuel, but I ran by the dollar store right here by my house and just grabbed a bunch of this stuff. Like I mentioned earlier, man, it most certainly isn't a dollar, bro. These things are like $4 a can, but I mean, it's not like crazy expensive. I think it is well worth it if it works. So my idea here is I'm just going to saturate the living shit out of this thing right now. Um, even if it takes two or three cans, I just want to completely saturate it with the oven cleaner and let it just kind of do its job and hopefully break all that crap up on the freaking engine and trans. Oh. Yeah, so once we get this thing all saturated and let it sit for a little bit, then we'll bust the pressure washer out and just hit it, bro. I want to see I want to see how well this stuff works with just like soaking it on there just one shot, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure I'm probably going to have to go over this thing a couple of times to get it as clean as I want it to be, but the plan is to pressure wash it really good with the transmission still connected and then once I get it um once we take the transmission off and I get the engine up on a stand, then we'll go ahead and hit it again so I can get all underneath the oil pan, all that
One can down. All right. Well, two cans pretty well did it. I mean, that thing is freaking drenched, bro, and I got all the way around it, too. I mean, not the very, very bottom of the oil pan, but I got, for the most part, all of it. We still got three cans left. I'm gonna let that sit probably, I don't know, five minutes, ten minutes, and then uh, we'll bust out the vroom vroom and get to the chop 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 shit. Damn. Gina, that thing came out freaking clean, bro. That is not bad at all for a one take, man. I'm definitely a believer. So the uh, oven cleaner will definitely be part of our normal routine. Don't get me wrong. Super clean's not going anywhere. Dude, these valve covers weren't even freaking silver before. They were straight black. And you could even tell that the heads were aluminum. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I knew the heads were aluminum. But, dude, like that's amazing, man. Well, the oil pan especially. The oil pan was just solid freaking black and now you can see that that's actually an aloo- Oh, kind of shadowed over here, but now I think it's time to go ahead and get the transmission off. I need to change this strap over to this side of the engine, so. And then uh, we can unbolt it and then pull it off. Hopefully I don't kill myself since I'm doing this by myself. <laughs> but first, I need to raise this thing up, try to get the uh, torque converter bolts out. Definitely step number one, gotta get all the torque converter bolts. Then we'll go ahead and restrap the engine. And there is our very first victim that we gotta get out of there. Well, hopefully it's gonna be the victim and not us. I don't know, I was looking up videos on like the actual procedure of removing those, you know, just in case there's any do's or don'ts or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And there's quite a few people having problems with stripping these damn things. The one difference I'll say from my bolts, from the ones that I watched online, are it has an outer hex where like you can put a wrench or a socket on it, but then it also has that inner hex that's for an Allen wrench. All the videos that I was watching uh, where people were having problems with them stripping out, they were just a round bolt with just the Allen wrench in the center. So at least I have two options, I guess. But here we go, man, fingers crossed. <laughs> broke loose. God, that is really tight. Jesus Christ. Next. That's it. There's only three? What the? Well, I guess that's it, dude. There's only three bolts on the flex plate to the torque converter. So now we can go ahead and set this thing down. Gotta move this strap over to just the engine, then unbolt this transmission and then separate this thing.
All right, got the transmission and the engine separated. Bro, this stuff is really clean, man. I mean, look at the inside of this. Like, I, I know we pressure wash the outside of the engine. I mean, but realistically, dude, like, look how much it cleaned up. I'm just stoked. I think this engine is in really good shape, man. Either way, we still have to tear it apart. <laughs> I, I have to gap the rings no matter what for boost because... Um, if I don't, then we're just gonna end up having problems later on. This is gonna be our transmission for the Bel Air, so. <sighs> just slide that thing over here out of the way for now. Dude, I'm lucky I kept all the freaking like nuts and bolts and everything from tearing apart the Tahoe, that uh, Avalanche, uh, the DA, like I was just throwing everything into this bucket, but I found these. And I think we're gonna be able to use to actually mount the engine to the engine stand. All right, well, I cut a piece of wood and to support the front, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why, man. I never trust these freaking V8s on these engine stands. It just feels like a lot of weight just kind of freaking sticking out there, you know what I'm saying? But anyhow, dude, this engine looks really freaking clean, man. I am so stoked on how good of condition this thing is in. Um, I, I know the outside doesn't necessarily represent the condition of the inside, but you guys already know. We're gonna tear this thing all apart. Um, I do want help with that. I'm, I'm gonna see if Robbie has time, the guy that has that other uh, twin turbo S10, if he has time maybe to come hang out and go through it with me and just kind of tear it apart so that I mean because he knows what he's looking for you know what I'm saying like as far as push rods and and lifters and I don't freaking know man I mean I have no problem tearing it apart but at the same time I don't know what the hell it is I'm looking at but I figured I'll go ahead and leave the intake manifold on and leave the exhaust manifolds on for now just so that I'm not opening up you know the heads to the elements to where dust and everything get in there but a huge step forward man got the thing cleaned up got it up on an engine stand um, I'm gonna reach out to Robbie and see if uh, when he potentially has time and he can freaking look at it with me but I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope you guys like how the BMW is coming out there's still quite a few more things that I want to do to that thing appearance wise um, before we get into well I, I want to go get the exhaust done like ASAP I want the thing to have a little bit of a sound to it but yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video peace out guys and I'll see you on the next one